uh, how school shaped America. Now, before I um look at the the notes too deeply, I'm just gonna come off the top of the head and say this: I think that the American school system, from K to eighth grade, amazing, but from ninth to twelfth, it's all programming, bro. Like, it, it's dumb. It doesn't serve no purpose, and honestly, it fails you really. By the time you graduate, the school system failed you. Unless you were able to overcome the school system and educate yourself in a, in a different way, because you're really given the tools, you're given the tools to study by yourself and everything. Uh, by the time you reach eighth grade, you need to find things that interest you from nine to twelve, um, so you can study, indulge yourself in those things, and then uh, use those skills and the and the and that knowledge to monet monetize yourself in the real world. Feel me? Um, and that's what I do every day. I like to expand my knowledge, read. Uh, I like to write my notes, you know. I like to talk to other people and hear their ideas, you know, so I can expand my brain and then monetize my skills. You feel me? Um, so, uh, especially for black kids, the American school system really discourages creativity. Um it's always about being creative and being different until you're a little bit too different than everybody else and you're a little bit too creative. Uh, from the environments that black people grow up in, just like Spanish people, the environments are loud. We like loud music. Uh, we talk loud to each other. Um, the way we talk to each other is different. Like, we like to cut ass when we're, when we're playing jokes on each other. Like, uh, you know, we're cutting ass. Uh, we like to play fights sometimes, you know, slap boxing, stuff like that. Uh, we're very physical when it comes to our sports. Uh, yo, so those those are our creative lanes. Uh, for black kids, we have rap music. For Spanish kids, they have rap music, reggaeton, stuff like that. Um, yo, so that's the we like to put. We like to put our creative outlets. We're we're more creative. All right, we're very creative people, and. The American school system is really a funneling into the college, the college uh, system. And that's unfair because I don't think everybody's designed or built to go to college. I know that nobody's forcing you to go necessarily. But when you when you're told from the age of five to uh, 17, go to college, go to college, you're going to make money when you go to college. What do you think they're going to do by the time they walk across that stage? They're probably thinking, oh, shit, I really got to go to college. But let me tell you now, that's probably one of the worst decisions i made is as as far as me there are people i got to go to college because um that's 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 just what they're going to have to do because they're going to want to be they're going to want to be a doctor, lawyer, something like that. You feel me? And you definitely going to have to go to college cuz i'm letting you know right now. If you if you have a GED or a high school diploma only, you are not cutting into my body for no damn surgery. You're not administering you're not administering any Medicine to me, like, my nigga, just don't touch me, feel me? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, school, at least um, in New York, once again, thanks for stopping by for all things New York, all things Long Island. Um, it's a liberal echo chamber. Chamber. It's a it's liberal programming. Um, I remember I would talk to, shout out to Miss Gertner, bro. I gotta, I gotta hit you up. Shout out to Miss Gertner. I remember I used to have conversations with her about uh, feminism. And uh, we used to argue up and down sometimes. Good thing I liked her because I never said nothing disrespectful to her and she never said disrespect nothing disrespectful to me. I love her to death. Um, we used to dis debate about feminism. And um, the greater point that I'm making here is that uh, people that come from these schools of thoughts are typically the people teaching in our schools and in, in America or in uh, at least in the democratic cities and states. Um you have to be very careful about how you joke around or the, 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 the content of speech you have around certain teachers because, like, my coaches, they were man, manly men. Like, I could say whatever, whenever around them, and they really didn't give a shit. Um, now, you get around certain teachers where I'm not saying that you're cussing or even trying to be funny. You might say something that you just simply disagree with. Uh, l let me see. I remember in an English class... I know the teacher was male, but uh, the 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 room was very liberal. It was very female heavy. Um, I think there was maybe like four, 
three or four guys in a class of like. Nah, I think it was less than that. Like three guys in a class of like fifteen or something like that. Um, we were talking about how women. I don't even really remember the conversation because I got mad and basically said that women just need to stay in the kitchen. Because uh, they, they liberals have an inability to listen, and my spirit felt killed because nobody was willing to hear out what I had to say. And I and I wasn't saying anything disrespectful. I wasn't trying to be inflammatory, nothing like that. Until I felt like I was being attacked. Um, there's this toxic sink or swim shaping like high school is not the end of the road like you're not really that far into your life like they they make you feel like you're gonna sink or like 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 they make you feel like if you don't achieve these small minor things in school that you're just gonna fail in the rest of your life whereas there's pe- like if say there's people that know construction and they know how to work with their hands real well. Why would they fail in life because they don't know they don't know chemistry? That's retarded. Not saying that that chemistry is required to graduate, but there's some people like like there's some people that will never graduate that that could probably build things based off the creativity of their mind um or collaborating with other people. There's immigrants that come to this country and build with uh without even high school educations because that's a skill that anybody can learn once you practice it and uh you know monetize it you you get what I'm trying to say but I think that because of uh grading systems and uh the 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 push the push and the I guess the uh, stigma put behind going to college, you you kind of feel like every decision you make is a matter of life and death. And sometimes, all, first of all, take all your decisions seriously, but every decision you make is sometimes not that deep. Sometimes it's about just trying something, seeing how it goes, and then uh, moving on, you know? Why would you focus on something that makes you feel bad or that you're failing at? That just doesn't make sense to me. And when you're in school, they make you retake these classes and retake these classes if you continue to fail them. But it might be something that you don't even need like that. I don't need geometry. The fuck? All right? Anyway. Um, it also really messes up your priorities. I wish that like, there was an option from the age of 14 to 17 to work more than I go to school. Like... Why Why are my priorities about writing a paper that I don't give a shit about? That fucks up your priorities. And, like, school, I feel like it would become a priority if they were really adding value to our whole being. But they really don't. And it, we've always felt that way since the beginning of time. I don't know why people act like it's something brand new when their kids don't like school. Y'all need to stop blacking out on y'all kids and acting like they're bad because they don't like school. Y'all know what the deal is. Shit's crazy. That shit's crazy. Um, it it's a it's a big time waster too. Like I feel like it's a it's it's school is more for uh, babysitting the kids really than than really teaching them. Nigga, all we did in school was fight, smoke, and fucking what? Put our headphones in the in the back of class. Like it, it's it's really terrible. And the, the, I'm going to talk about some, a, a topic that gets me tight. If you go to a ghetto school, ask yourself this. Is it the school's fault or is it your fault? Because I went to a, a school that niggas quote unquote consider ghetto. My nigga, that school was not ghetto. It was a pretty good school. We had good books. We had good computers. We had a good facility, obviously. We had a, a nice gym, a, a pretty big cafeteria, nice aud- auditorium. Um, I think they started adding more rooms to the, the building or modifying the rooms for, uh, different classes. Like, my nigga, what are you talking about? It'd be y'all ghetto-ass kids coming into school acting fucking ghetto, wanting to fight everybody. Fucking, like, yo, what are y'all doing? Get y'all education. If that's what y'all want to do, just go outside and be in the street. Skip school, nigga. Like, why y'all bringing that energy over here? And, like, 
I don't blame you because that's the law, but like that's the law. But don't say that the school is ghetto. It be the it, it be the students. Y'all niggas is ghetto. Like don't don't do that. Um, like I remember, like my like when schools used other schools used to visit, like because like we're zone schooled out here in Long Island, so another town that's basically another town will come over to yours, and there might be beef started because of street niggas and shit. Like yo, that should be mad whack. Like when you go to homecoming. And, and and people want to start fighting after the game or during the game and sometimes people get stabbed. Like it, it's it's different, bro. Like now I'm I'm gonna leave that whole thing right there because my whole rundown basically how school shaped America it added on to this liberal atmosphere of being safe and being soft with everybody and for the red states if they're doing the same thing it it adds on to the fire of hating minorities because of the assumption that they're going to be liberal democratic so i think it adds way more damage than good when it comes to the whole programming thing but this is the kind of shit that they want us to deal with they want us to fight there's always a division about something whether it's liberal uh against republican whether it's black versus white whether it's within Black people, light versus dark, uh, nappy versus loose hair. Like, it's always something mad dumb. Stop dividing yourself over so much dumb shit. All right? Like, come on, guys. Get y'all acts together.